Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a quick, cheap way to allow your phone to display uh, in horizontal or uh, landscape mode, as you can see, like so. Uh, it also has many features allowing you to um, even open your phone in landscape, I mean uh, your lock screen in landscape, or even selected applications. So let's go ahead and look at some of the settings that we have uh, with this application as you can see you have general settings right here at the top you have uh, global rotations and you could pick a different uh, location uh, rotation uh, for your phone Then you have the rotational choices as you could see these are the ones I think that uh, pop up on your uh, widget if I yes these are the ones that pop up on your widgets so you could uh, edit your widget like that let's just go ahead and select the ones that we had um, then you have advanced settings, um, there's a show selection pop-up, show notification, uh, show toast message, uh, then you have per app settings, so these settings are for specific applications, and you could go ahead and um, click over here, and you select an application, and uh, you choose what way you would like it to be displayed on horizontally or keep it in portrait because as we know some applications have the auto rotate and are either auto rotated to horizontal or just kept in portrait mode so you also have some uh, system rotation settings uh, but we'll just uh, leave those as they are right now so as you can see the widget is uh, pretty cool you just uh, tap on which um, uh, screen you want here we have uh, the auto so that's just like uh, the regular settings that you have on your phone then you got the locked here just keeps your phone locked in portrait and then you got the forced uh, one where depending on the way you tilt your phone um, that way it will be displayed and as you could see since it's in horizontal now you could uh, just lock it I think and it'll stay that way yeah so as you can see right now <clears throat> excuse me my phone will be constantly in portrait mode because I locked the screen that way so uh, then if you go back to the forced auto flip your screen back and it flips back to uh, portrait um, same thing with the um, lock screen uh, you could choose to have it in, uh, po in landscape or portrait um, right now, I usually prefer my um, lock screen to be in uh, portrait mode uh, just because it's easiest to access. But this is just a pretty cool application. I can't really remember uh, how much this application costs. I'm just going to uh, include it in the very beginning of the video. But this is a cheap, effective way to um, play with the display. Um, um, on your phone, meaning like uh, horizontal or portrait wise, as you can see, and this is how it works. Works perfectly. There are barely any bugs. I've never came across a bug. Uh, reason I got this application before was uh, due to the Nexus S, the Nexus Seven that was actually forced to only display in portrait, but so lucky enough to find this application and not have to uh, fight with that so uh, I decided to use it on my phone especially for videos I find it that um, displays a lot nicer you don't have the blank uh, bars here on the sides and you could fit a lot more into your video so just a pretty cool uh, application that you guys could download and uh, purchase the license for a couple dollars. There's a free trial so that you could try out, but obviously every trial has a time limit, so um, you'll have to make the decision whether to buy the key, license key. Anyways, guys, so um, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel. So see you in the next video.